how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. God bless you. Uh, thank you, everybody that gave me a birthday thank or wish me happy birthday. It's greatly appreciated. The only reason why I said that, told anybody it was my birthday, is because people on my live stream, some people knew when they were telling me happy birthday. So it's not like I said it so everybody would wish me happy birthday in general. I would say it's the most happy birthdays I've ever got. Let's just put it that way. I don't usually, my birthday, I could care less. <laughs> it just goes by. So, I thank you all. Um, I'm watching the third. We are watching. I'm watching today, but mainly the third. I will go over it right now. Many people have said this. And over Ramadan, usually violence is increases in Israel. This is Ramadan. This is the date that it started. I had somebody ask me about this. I did show it in my video, so I'm showing it again, but I did I did show it in my video. So increased violence always happens in Israel over Ramadan. This is a fact. People have stated it. I have stated it before. It says, fears grows, renewed violence in Israel ahead of Ramadan. Wave of terror attacks in Israel come as leaders focus. This is all through history. Palestine warns Israel actions will lead to violence, says, uh, need to head off Ramadan wave of violence. This is just a fact. They rise up. So when I showed you, I'm going to get rid of this. When I showed you this in I Pet Goat, the moon phase was right in here. The moon phase right there. And they rise up. This is Ramadan with the nuclear weapons. This is this is what I showed in my last video. Okay, so that that's that's a fact. I'm gonna go over this right now. This is gonna be a little bit longer video. I'm gonna set up after I'm done with this part, and then I'm gonna go to my next part. I'm I, because anyway, I'm I'm gonna go over this right now. As you can see, the house on fire. You even see fire in his head. And I have said this. You see fire in his head. Looks like fire right here. I have said this before. Looks like fire. There's the house in the background. It's on fire. Dead, whatever. She looks over at him. There's the house on fire. As you can see, the house on fire. There's Trump laying on his back. As you can see, it's on fire right here. Well, it just happens to be that it says right here at Trump's rally. They are worried about security. It says right here. It says Trump's rally at Michigan has fire officials scrambling. Very interesting. It says fire officials scrambling right here. Yeah, they're wor worried about parking and capacity spark concern. This is uh, Washington, Michigan, where the rally's taking place at. Right here. It's very interesting that they say that the building, the building, about the building, worried about the building, and the fire officials. There's a building, and there's a fire, and there's fire in his hair, and he's laying on his back. It's very interesting. So, like I say, you can see the fire right there. It looks like fire. The building on fire. And they're talking about this right here. Fire officials scrambling right there. So, like I said, here's the date. Here's the time. I'm going to put this with the rest of my video. Um, the rest of my video is about what God wants in our life. The true worshipers, as Jesus said. And I will set up for that now. Yes, this is the most important thing. As I have said before, 
Jesus said, when you pray, go in your closet, pray to the Father in secret. The Father that seeth you in secret rewards you openly. This is Matthew chapter 6. It's also the Lord's Prayer in Luke. And it says right here in Luke, it says, What is spoken shall be spoken and heard in the light, which is ye are spoken in the ear in the closet, it says spoken in darkness in the and heard in, in the light, which is shall be spoken in the ear in the closet, shall be proclaimed on the housetops. This is this is where praying to the Father every day, praying the Lord's Prayer, as I've said, right here is the Lord's Prayer. I just put it on here to make it more visible. Pray to the Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. This is when this is praying to the Father about the kingdom. We are praying to him for the kingdom to come. This is every day. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This is exactly what the Father wants. He wants you to pray to him in secret every day. Give us our daily bread. Thank him for the food. You're thanking him for the food. When the when the Israelites came out of Egypt, I was going to have a longer video, but when the Israelites came out of Egypt, God gave them manna every day. They were thanking him every day for the, the bread they gave him every day. Jesus also said, he is the bread of life. Give us our daily bread. So, so by praying this, you are doing exactly what he did in Exodus. He wanted you to pray this um, he wanted you to seek him daily. He put him in the wilderness so they would be counting on him. He wanted to supply all their needs every day. And you are thanking him for supplying those needs every day. Forgive us of our sins. Forgive us our trespasses. Forgive us our trespass. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. I've said this before. The Pope wanted to change this. I said this before, you can check that out for yourself, because this is a part he wanted you to, to change. Lead us not into temptation, but to, and deliver us from evil. He wanted to change this part. This is your praying that you don't go into the great tribulation. I have shown this before. Um, I'll even do it right here. Right here, Pope Francis reportedly wanted to remove to the worship words in the Lord's Prayer known as insist, lead us not into temptation. This is the tribulation. It tells you how evil these people are. God wants you to pray. Jesus told you to pray this and the Pope wanted to change this. It just shows you. Jesus even said, this is the true worshipers, have I said before, your fathers worshipped in the mountain. This is Mount Sinai that she was talking about. Your fathers worshipped at Mount Sinai. And this is what he, she, he was, she was talking about. And you say Jerusalem is the place to worship. Jesus said unto you, woman, believe me, the time cometh that is, is, and is, in the mountain, nor in Jerusalem, neither one of those places, worship the Father. You worship, you don't know who you worship, but we worship salvation of the Jews. This is salvation. This is us. But the hour cometh that it is now when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. The Father seeketh such to worship him. We have the Holy Spirit. We can, we, we can go right to the Father as Jesus told us to in Matthew chapter 6, to pray to the Father in secret. This is a personal relationship. This is every day. And this is exactly what happened in Exodus when God brought them to Mount Sinai to worship him. They didn't have the Holy Spirit. So he physically had to be there. He physically was there when they were worshiping him on the mountain. And that's what she's talking about here. We don't need the mountain. Jesus says right here, 
In Luke, it says, what is, said in the, what is spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and which is spoken in the ear in the closet shall be proclaimed on the housetops, on the mountain, on the housetop. Because we have the Holy Spirit, we can go right to the Father through the Holy Spirit and talk right to the Father in our prayer closet. This is exactly what Jesus was talking about, and this is the true worshipers. So I was going to have a longer video on this. I was going to have a video about uh, Exodus, and and I do have a question for you. Anybody that, that why was Aaron spared? Why was Aaron spared in Exodus? And I was going to show this in my video. Why was Aaron spared when he made the calf, the golden calf, when, when Moses was gone and he came back? And all the people that worshipped the calf were killed except for Aaron. Answer that question for me. You people that want think you know everything. And I don't think I know everything. But that is a good question to ask. Why was Aaron spared? Because every he built he made the calf, the golden calf. That's 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 Moses' brother. And if you know what I'm talking about, Moses the most important thing is worship. And that's why they were destroyed. They were destroyed because they worshiped the calf. Everyone that worshiped the calf was killed. And if you know what I'm talking about, that's the most important thing is worship. But Aaron was spared and he made the calf. Aaron was also the high priest in the tabernacle. And that's an Exodus. Aaron was a high priest. He was the oldest brother of Moses. And, uh, that's just one question for you. So, it's the end of my video. God bless. Hope you're all doing well. And uh, I was going to go over that, but that's a good question for for people. Why why was why was Aaron spared when uh, everybody else was killed for worshiping the calf and went in the pit? God bless. And this is the end of my video. Yes. Like I said, that's what I'm watching. I'm watching the third. Um, tomorrow we'll see what happens, but uh, we'll see. We're on high watch. God bless.